Hello, I'm Adam from No Rolls Bard and welcome to Board Game Club, where the first rule of Board Game Club is you can get money for old rope. So, uh, it turns out the Blood and the Clock Tower game that we did a few weeks back, people really seem to enjoy. And, well, they kept asking us to do another one. Look at all these comments asking us to do another one. So we're going to do another one. <laughs> we have managed to drag Ben out of retirement for one last job and well i mean if you haven't seen the first one we did you you should but just in case you haven't here's me from that video explaining the rules go old me blood on the clock tower belongs to the werewolf family of games loads of good players who don't know who each other are versus a team of evil players who do know who each other are and this is the kicker everyone has special powers You've got townsfolk, good players with special powers that are straight up helpful to the good team. Outsiders, who are also good but their special powers are a hindrance to the good team. Minions, bad players whose special powers mess with the good team. And their leader, the demon. There are a whole bunch of different demons in the full game, but for this specific scenario we'll be playing, that demon will be the Imp. Like Werewolf, there are two phases to the game, night and day. At night, the Imp will kill a member of the town, and other players' special powers may also activate at night to give them information on who other people might be. Then, during the day, everyone discusses what they know, with evil players lying their asses off. If they want to, players can nominate other players during the day that they think might be evil, for execution, at which point a vote happens. Living players can vote every time. Dead players may not have their power anymore, but can still speak and can also vote, but they can only do it once per game, spending it like an extra life or one last bullet in the chamber to try and kill off an evil player. Good players win the game if they execute the demon. Bad players win if there are only two people left alive and one of those is the demon. That is the overview of the game. Thanks, old me. And now sit back and enjoy Blood on the Clock Tower 2, Demonic Boogaloo. Welcome to another very special and very sinister episode of Board Game Club. I'm Tom, joined by Adam. Hello. Blair. Hello. Ollie. Well, hello there. Isa. Hello. Sullivan. Hello. Laurie. Hello. Luke. Hello there. John. Hello. Isaac. Hey guys. And our very special guest, official storyteller from the Pandemonium Institute and evil genius par excellence, Ben. Hi guys. Right. The sun is setting in the sky and a curtain of darkness is drawn over the town of Ravenswood Bluff. It's time for you gentle town folk to go to sleep and for me and Ben to separate the decent from the damned. Good night. Uh, so Ben, now we're alone. Let's see what we have in store for these poor, unfortunate souls. Sure thing. So uh, Isaac will be playing as the empath. If you've seen our previous video, you will know how the empath works. It's very simple. Each night, the empath wakes up and learns how many of their alive neighbours are evil. As you can see, Isaac is currently sat between two good players, and Isaac is neither poisoned nor drunk. So as things stand, Isaac will learn that neither of his living neighbours are evil. If Sully or Laurie dies, then he will be checking on the next neighbour along, because it's only living neighbours. It's an extremely powerful role. It's also a role that's very open to tampering with, so I think Isaac is going to be very power... Blah, blah, blah. Very paranoid is what I was looking for there um, about about whether or not his info is legit. Up next we've got uh, we've got Laurie. Uh, Laurie will think that they're the librarian, but Laurie is in fact the drunk. The drunk is one of the outsiders, and the drunk basically is a character who believes they are a townsfolk. And for the entire game, we will treat Laurie as though they are that townsfolk. We'll tell Laurie that they're the librarian. We'll give Laurie librarian-like information. But Laurie is not the librarian. Laurie is the drunk. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> um, Ollie is the virgin. Uh, the virgin is an extremely powerful role if you know how to use it correctly. 
The Virgin's ability reads the first time you're nominated, if the nominator is a townsfolk, they are executed. So to put that into, into simpler terms, when we get to the point where we vote for people, the first person to nominate Ollie, if that person is a townsfolk, will immediately be executed, die, and we'll all go straight to sleep. So that actually sounds awful, but in fact it's very useful in a game where so much information can be messed with through drunkenness and poisoning. The Virgin is an incredibly powerful character because it is one of the few sources of absolute guaranteed factual information. If Ollie's ability goes off and kills someone, Ollie is the Virgin. There is no way that he can not be the Virgin, and that's one ninth of the puzzle solved in a heartbeat. I can't wait to see how Ollie handles that responsibility. <laughs> Yeah, me neither. Um, so, Intrepid Adam is our spy. Adam is the minion, uh, one half of the evil team. The spy's ability is that they get to look inside the grimoire every night. Now, the grimoire is this view that you guys are seeing now, these nine character tokens and all the reminder tokens and stuff that we have on screen. That is the grimoire. So, Adam, every single night, will get to see absolutely everything that's going on. Who everyone is, who's drunk, who's poisoned, who his imp is about to kill, and all of the, all of the decisions that we've made, Adam will be aware of. It's an extremely powerful role. Your immediate thoughts hearing that might be, wow, that's too powerful, but actually it, it can be a double-edged sword because if the evil team start picking off the most valuable players in order of most valuable, it'll become quite obvious to the good guys very quickly that we, in fact, have a spy in the game. Uh, up next, we have got the Raven Keeper. The Raven Keeper is a classic. Uh, you perhaps saw it in the previous game. Basically, if the Raven Keeper is killed by the imp at night, they will get to wake up and choose one person, and we will reveal that person's role to them. It's a difficult one to make work. You often find that Raven Keepers uh, survive until the end, because if if uh, Issa gives away the fact that she is the Raven Keeper, the demon will definitely not kill her. So she's going to have to masquerade as something else, something more valuable and more important. And if she doesn't successfully do that, it will probably be obvious to the imp that she's the Raven Keeper. That's a very unnerving role to be in the Raven's Keeper, I can speak from experience. It certainly is. Not quite as unnerving as Luke's role though, the Saint. The Saint is our second outsider. This uh, nine player game should contain two outsiders, that's one of the rules of setup. Uh, and the Saint's ability is that if they are executed, they and their team immediately lose. That is only execution though. Luke can die at night, Luke can be killed by the imp, by the evil team in the night, and that's fine. And in fact, I imagine Luke will want to try and orchestrate that, and he may employ a strategy very similar to that of the Raven Keeper. But if Luke is executed during the day, the game is over and the evil team wins. John, our imp. Of course, the imp is the, the one role in this, in this script that has to be in every time. John is the imp. Uh, John is the evil team captain. Each night, John, apart from the first night, John will wake up and choose someone, and that person will die. Uh, the game is over if John dies, because well, if John is executed, because evil loses when John dies. Um, but the game is also over and won for the good team if John can stay alive until there are only two players left. Blair, our Undertaker, another role that we had in the previous game. The Undertaker is, is another very powerful role, uh, providing an execution occurs, then we will wake Blair up and tell them which character has just been executed. Of course, there's no elimination in Blood on the Clock Tower, uh, and most importantly, your roles are not revealed on death. So Blair's ability is so powerful that it is literally a core mechanic in most other social deduction games. And finally, the big man in town. Sullivan. <laughs> Sully, the mayor. So I absolutely adore the mayor. It's such a cool role. Um, the mayor is one of the most social characters in this script, in my opinion. It's a, it's a simple ability. If you can stay alive until there are only three people left alive and then convince the town not to execute anyone, the mayor, along with the good team, will win. It's a very difficult thing to do. It sounds like you're lying when you do it. Uh, and it will, it will, Sully will have to convince people 
not to kill, which is, you know, frankly what this game is all about. But if you can pull that off, good will just win by default. It's also worth noting that if, if the mayor is attacked in the night, someone else might die instead. So we can, as storytellers, as, as GMs, forcibly keep Sully in the game, providing he's not drunk or poisoned, regardless of what happens in the night. It is, as a player, it is my favourite role to play as. I love being... There's something about small town government that is just always fun to play as in any game setting and i genuinely love being the mayor and just being a being a big shot and having that, that added layer of safety as well i think is is really enjoyable feeling that if people try to try to gun for you um that you are vindicated eventually in defending yourself no matter what happens which is a satisfying feeling just taking a quick village census we have five townsfolk Two outsiders, one minion, and one demon. And we'll explain how the voting mechanic works once the first round of nominations is called on day one. So yes, uh, with that in mind, let's start haunting the dreams of these doomed villagers. Okay, well let's head on over to uh, Laurie first and give them their info. Evening, gents. Evening, Laurie. Ooh. So, Laurie, you are the librarian, the library man, if you will, for longtime <laughs> fans of Laurie Blake content. And so, on this, the first night's sleep, as you lock up the library before heading home to your bed, you notice only one book has been borrowed this entire past week. And that book is Moonshining 101. And the two villagers who have borrowed it are Blair and Ollie, which can, of course, only mean one thing. Blair or Ollie is the drunk. Excellent. Ben, yeah, please talk us through the, uh, the wonderful poetry of what you've done there. Yeah, so basically, um, as, as the more eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed, uh, Laurie is, in fact, the drunk. Laurie is not the librarian. Um, for that reason, we show Laurie false information. And the drunk is an outsider, and the librarian would normally learn that one of two people is a particular outsider. And so we thought it would be funny to tell Laurie, who is the drunk, that either Ollie or Blair is the drunk. What's going to happen there is that Laurie's... Uh, if, 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 for example, uh, an evil player nominates Ollie and isn't executed, or if Blair gets some information that, that they're not quite confident on, Laurie might speak up and say, well, actually... I've seen that you might be the drunk, and it could completely trash the good team's uh, flow of information, and we really hope that happens because it's hilarious. This is good. I hope I'm not drunk or poisoned. So, I assume you've seen who you are. <sighs> yeah, holy shit, guys. It's big. <laughs> yeah. But presumably you're delighted, right? Because this is your chance to uh, take out all your mates, which is everyone's dream. Yeah? <laughs> I'm actually I'm much more comfortable being a good guy because then I can play super competently uh, as best I can anyway. Obviously, some to get it wrong, but like I can go all in with like, okay, I've just got to find the killer. But now I've got to play quite competently, but not too competently. And it's really <laughs> it's a really hard line. Your minion tonight is Adam. Oh, brilliant. Your three uh -huh. demon bluffs are the fortune teller, oh, the monk, or the recluse. Okay. Oh, this is huge. So, the fortune. Can you remind me what the fortune teller does? Sure. Oh, I'll go over all three of them if you like, just for the benefit oh, of the. Uh, I remember the everyone. monk. Oh yeah, for people listening. So, yeah. so the fortune teller will wake up at night and choose two people, and if one of them is the demon, aka the imp, they will get a yes. And if neither of them is the demon, they will get a no. However, there is one good player selected before the game begins who will also register as the demon. An inbuilt red herring, if you like. Mm. Um, the monk's simple. Each night, but not the first night, uh, they wake up and point at someone. That person is safe from the imp. Uh, it's a good one, that, because uh, as the imp, you can simply attack a dead player and then go, oh, that was me, I'm the monk. So oh. uh, you know that's oh, that a thing that you good. can that you can do. Um, and finally, the recluse uh, may register as evil or as a minion or as a demon, even if dead. So it's one that you can pull out your your bum if you uh, if someone <laughs> sees you as evil. So I think we've given you a good spread there, a nice that's little a buffet really good of deception. 
<laughs> yum, 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 yum. So I should pick one and just stick with it as my. That's my it's up story. to you, mate. I mean, there's a million and one ways to go about this, uh, but no pressure or anything. But if you die, you've lost the game. So you know. Get <laughs> <laughs> <Okay, I'm> fucked. <laughs> Hello, Adam. Hello. So, you know who you are. My name is Bond, James Bond. I'm the spy. How does it feel being privy to so much sneaky info? Teehee, I like knowing things that other people don't know. That's what I like about games. <laughs> okay, so it is time in which case to send you your glimpse of the grimoire. Mm -hmm. So while that's being done, uh, I'll just point out, the spy doesn't only get to see the grimoire, but the other half of their ability is that they might register as good or as a townsfolk or as an outsider. So if Adam is, for example, executed uh, and a, a, a hypothetical undertaker were to see his role, we could possibly show them anything, any good character that we want, uh, because even if dead, the spy can register as good. Can't catch me. <laughs> oh, magic. John, my imp. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, we're going to we're going to ruin this town. So I take it you fancy your chances quite nicely. Um, hmm. Yes, I think so. I know John's John's good at these werewolf style games. Obviously, he runs Werewolf Live for for his actual job. Uh, and yes, uh, I'm a huge Blunt the Clock Tower fan. But uh, we'll see. We can be undone. I'm sure by that damn Mayor Sully. <laughs> So, have you had a chance to look at your role? Yes, I am the Virgin. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'm sure the comment section will have a great time with that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I have slept with upwards of three women in my life. <laughs> I, just, I just want to put that out there now. <laughs> Lovely. So, Luke, from Sinner to Saint, how do you feel? Yeah. Uh, excited, uh, although nervous, because it sort of rests a lot on me, really. Because if this all goes nipples north and people start to suspect that we could lose the game. <laughs> yeah, do you feel you have a specific insight into the mind of the imp having spent a game in there? Do you think you'll be able to predict what it is they're going to do? Uh, no, I mean, I, I kind of went into such a panic mode last time. I, uh, I very nearly killed Blair on my first night because I had no other information. And I was like, no, nah, Blair's too nice. I don't want to take her out of the game this early. She's, she's having a fun time. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, if the imps are anything like me, then who knows what they'll do. Uh, but yeah, they might be a bit more ruthless than I. So finally, you have a role that is in keeping with the famous good nature of <laughs> Luke Owen, the human being. Um, you love yeah. to see it. Thank you very much, Luke. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Oh, oh, hey. oh goodness. Oh. <laughs> okay, everybody. The sun rises on the town of Ravenswood Bluff as you emerge from your cottages to greet the day. The town clock tower, usually alive with morning chimes, is strangely silent. And as you all gaze up at its numbered face, you see clearly why. Two bodies have been impaled on its iron hands. Mm. Ben and I have been killed in a manner that can only mean one thing. There is a demon amongst you. Man, not again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> every, every two weeks in this town. Why don't you just move, move, right? Guys. You must have yeah. a lot of house equity prizes title. are so low because of this. <laughs> are you it's sure like this is, is it, are we sure this is Ravenswood Bluff and not Midsummer? <laughs> <laughs> I am so glad someone has finally made a Raven of the Bluff Midsummer joke. I thought it might be too niche. Laurie Blake, you're great. Thank you. <laughs> so, indeed, good luck, everyone. Have fun. Uh, do keep in mind, at any time, you can take me aside and ask me questions in private. That's not suspicious. There is a hell of a lot going on here. Don't sit there confused. Just take me aside and ask me. I'm more than happy to answer. Uh, you're also strongly encouraged to take one another aside and have private discussions. That, however, is suspicious. So uh, use it wisely. <laughs> hey, Luke. Luke, do you want to hatch a trap? I was going <laughs> to... Shut up, Ollie. Shut, shut up, Ollie. Uh, <laughs> you're on, you're on, like, just, you just, you just shut up. 
Before, <laughs> before everyone go, chat. before everyone goes, Damn, what does anyone want to just come forward and say that they are the demon now? It might save us a bit of hassle. <laughs> or save us a lot of time. Let's go with what we actually like. Probably will have happen. Anyone have powers just the first night that they want to just get out there now? I do, but I don't want to say yet. So can I? I'd quite like a private chat with you, Blair. Actually, uh, okay. I I also do, and I would like a chat with Ollie, please, and then John, if I can. Last time, me and Sally immediately um, just told everyone who we were. So I'm, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gonna be a bit I'm not telling stuff. anyone anything. I'm not telling anyone anything. Unless ever. Sally, <laughs> me and you tell each other again because it worked oh, last should we time. <laughs> should we do it? <laughs> no, no, let's not. No, no, let's not. <laughs> I really want to, but we better not. Okay, so I'm gonna go out on a limb. And well, actually, it, it's not that much of a limb. I'm the washerwoman, and I saw that mm. you and John were uh, a role. Um, so I'm not. What I would like is for me to count, to go one, two, three, and for for us both to say the role at the same time. So, huh? I, okay. That is my way of basically. Not, so I'm not giving you information. Like if you're evil, and I say, oh, I saw you might be. Sure. That sound fair? So I've just seen. Yeah, I'm just I'm just skimming through the the um, the roles. So your power is, of course, you start knowing that one or two one of the two players is a particular townsfolk. Mm-hmm. So you know I'm a townsfolk. I know that either you or John is a particular townsfolk. So I'm gonna. Right. That's why I'm talking to John next. So you've got to you've got to verify that. I see. I'm just. Checking if there's any bad awfully cagey guys. about this experiment, Ollie. I'll, I'll say just what I just what if me, there's a bad guy character let me just who look has at a, a very list similar of thing? Potential townsfolk I could doing. pretend to be. Hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. I will. I'll. I'll. T- okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. All right. Okay. On. So I'm gonna go. So go one, two, three, and then we'll both say it at the same time. All right. Here we go. Okay. One, two. Three monk virgin. Shit. Okay. Hmm. Is, is as long well, I'm a virgin, Adam. <laughs> as long as you're not, as long as you're not lying to me, because I yes, then we're great. Um. So if that's the truth, that means John is the monk. I'm gonna go and do exactly the same experiment with him, and if he gives me a different thing, then I'm drunk. Cool. Okay, that's a good way of. Yeah. Can we can we reconvene once you've spoken to John? Yeah, for sure. Nice one. Hello. Hello. What did you want to talk about? Uh, I want to talk about what you are. What I am. If you want to tell me. Yeah, I have an inkling of what you might be. So, yeah, I don't want to say yet just because I, I have no idea who anyone is. I have absolutely mm-hmm. no clue. Um, so I have no idea who you are. So I can't trust you yet. I'm a, I am a first evening type character. First evening type character. Okay. Does anyone want to reveal anything? But I suppose it's, you know, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm I, not going to reveal anything at all because I've, I've been burnt. I've been burnt by that. <laughs> Although, well, I, I mean, Sullivan, nail it Sullivan, last time. Sullivan, I got burnt by not doing anything. So this time I'm going yeah. to I'm gonna specifically <laughs> seek someone out. I, I'd actually really like to find the empath if possible. <laughs> yes, if That's we have shot. one. Mm. Yeah, if we've got yeah. one, yeah. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. I've called you in here because you're probably the least likely, I feel like, just statistically, <laughs> you're the least likely to, to be um, one of the evil team. Not, yeah, I, and actually, I'm not this time. I'm actually on the good side. Oh, very good. Me too. Um, what is... Are you comfortable telling me what your role is? So, I mean, okay, so the, the my main kind of goal at the moment is I'm quite curious to find the empath or someone who can at least identify who I am. So like the empath or the fortune teller is kind of like sure. who I've, I've got on my thing at the moment. Cool. I, yeah, because I, I don't know. I have no idea what you are. I have insight into who Blair and Ollie are. Okay. But I won't, I'm not going to share yet because I mm-hmm. want to see what starts happening before we kind of work out. But I'm happy to nominate and die this first evening because I've done my bit. I honestly don't think if I was the imp and I knew who I was, I wouldn't kill me in the night. I wouldn't try and I would try and find a way to get me executed. Yeah. So oh, okay. So that that would be my that would be my game plan. I've essentially told you who I am without you know without saying who I am. Okay, and is that? Uh, oh yeah. Well, there's well there's I mean there's two that 
do bad for nominations, but I'm assuming you're the more extreme version. Yeah, uh, yeah probably, yeah. Um, I'll be, I'll be frank with you. I don't reveal who I am until like maybe round two, round three. So I don't mm -hmm. mind waiting for a bit. So you don't need to tell me. I just want to okay. do the rounds and know if you're an outsider or not. That's it. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, don't I'm a regular townsfolk. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, there's no point with my power revealing until later in the game. Really, you're so the mayor by any it... chance? I am. Oh, okay, <laughs> fair enough. Well, well guessed. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you All know. Right. That, maybe. Yeah, no, I'm the guest. I'm the mayor. So, um, yeah. uh, there's no point until later on, really, because mm -hmm. the only thing is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna piss off the demon if he tries to kill me, because he's gonna be killing the wrong people. Hello, sir. I'm your Hello, spy. Mate. Great. I'm the imp. Let's fuck them up. Yes. Here's who everyone is. All right. So. <laughs> Um, Blair, what have we got? Blair is the undertaker. Great. Um, Sully is the mayor, so probably best not to attack him because it might ping off and ricochet into someone uh, useful, or that is not useful for us. Isaac's the empath, yep. so might want to kill him soonish. <laughs> uh, Laurie's the librarian. Ollie's a virgin. What a fun about in the game. <laughs> oh, he's a washerwoman. <laughs> Burn! We're so mean! <laughs> yeah, suck it when you're watching this back, Ollie. <laughs> yeah. Ollie is actually the virgin, so when he outs that to the group, I'm going to nominate him, and hopefully, because I can register as a townsfolk, hopefully I will die, which therefore instantly locks me in as 100% trustworthy, and that will automatically um, line you up as definitely the monk as well. So okay, told... so do you know, did Ollie tell you that he is the Virgin? Uh, yeah, I basically said three, two, one, we'll say our thing at the same time. I should uh, quickly rush through the rest of the powers just because it's a bit suspicious we're talking for this long. Uh, Izzet is the yeah. Raven Keeper, don't kill her. Uh, and Luke is the Saint. Um, so you basically, you've got, Great. like, there's loads of powerful roles you can kill. You might not want to kill the most powerful ones straight away just because it might look sus. Anyway, I better rush back to the village. Yeah, um, let's go. So, so if one I know, I I just spoke to Adam, and that means I already know four of the townsfolk. Four, which I think's yeah, someone's. Wait, what's Adam? Some, why well, I can't. Okay, I'm not, no, not yeah, going to say course, what his what... thing is, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, but I he's he's got a plan, which should okay. define what he is. There's a plan or a plan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I I never trust I Adam. Just gonna go out there and say it. He, is there anything that's kind of suspicious, wanna... Blair? That's kind of well, suspicious, Blair. No, I. This is just. <laughs> <laughs> this is just in general. I don't trust Adam. Did Adam claim to be a townsfolk? Yes. Okay. I think everyone's claiming to be townsfolk. Well, of course. <laughs> um, yeah. So, can you tell us anything about what Adam said to you? I, it's not really my place to say just yet. He okay. might be lying to me. Um, That's fair. But it'll be yeah. interesting to see what he says to mm. to John. It's all connected, I think. Um, okay. It could. Adam be. claims to know something about either me or John. Uh, Ollie, can we talk, please? Yes, please. Library. Library. Uh, what do he say? What do he say? What do he say? He said monk. He said monk. Hmm. Right. So basically, now we play a little game of is Ollie a cheating bastard? Uh, not cheating, obviously, what, but is Ollie what? an evil bastard who will now then go and wrap this information out to his imp as soon as possible? Hmm, yeah. Well, I am one of the only characters who can prove who they are. And that is, do you know my, do you know my ability? The Virgin, yeah. If you, so if you're nominated yeah. a townsfolk inst- <gasps> Oh, perfect! Perfect, yes. perfect. Uh, so I'll nominate you. I th but that would, that would- kill you yeah yeah, yeah but that's fine because i've got all the information i'm gonna get like yeah it'll limit me to one vote for the rest of the game but then you know that my information is bang on the money but like you you will literally okay. the only way i'll be able to die is if i am a townsfolk so you will so know i that like I'm on that but do you want to i mean i'm not particularly distrustful of you i probably should be i was thinking of saving like waiting a night or two picking out who could be a baddie and then trying to peer pressure everyone into getting them to nominate me. Oh, uh, if they're a baddie, they won't die. That's the thing. With your power... Yes, well, it could. It would... Oh, expose them, them, you mean? Baddie. 
Yes. Oh, that's interesting. I think it's... Okay, so I think you're right. We've got that kind of side of things where you could basically expose a baddie. But what you also have is the ability to confirm a goodie. And that is... Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. then basically that will confirm to everyone that you're the virgin. And it will also confirm yes. that I'm a townsfolk. So that right there, you have two people that are... It's conf- a lot of info. Because then everyone can just come to us and tell us like who they and it are. Would, it would confirm John as the monk yeah, as well. exactly. Do you remember the excellent TV show, children's TV show, Banana Man? Oh, yes. Of course. Yeah. 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 So good. Yeah. Oh, so good. Absolutely brilliant. The concept of a boy becoming a huge muscular man, just eating one banana. And it it, it was was fantastic. What a great idea. (laughs) I don't know how this helps us with our current situation, (laughs) Sally. Yeah. Uh, does anyone have anything that they would like to share with the group? And if you wish, you are free to make nominations. Oh, uh, Daddy Ben, uh, before we start, do if someone is executed, will the day end immediately, or will there be a, a bit of debrief time after the execution? <laughs> the day will end immediately, uh, but you kind of threw me off a bit there by calling me Daddy Ben. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in which case, okay. if people don't mind, just in case someone else nominates him first, I would like to do something and it you will see why because i'm going to explain it first because otherwise the day will end what? i am the washerwoman i saw uh, a role for john and ollie and i've spoken to both of them and i've confirmed one of them um i'm not going to say what the role is just yet because i think that's too revealing but to show you i'm on the level and to show you that ollie is on the level I nominate Ollie. Okay, Adam now, nom- the reason wow. So Adam you- nominates Ollie and is immediately executed and dies, everyone goes straight to sleep. What oh god. <laughs> okay. That was huge. Ballsy play. <laughs> Very ballsy play actually. <laughs> wow. He's 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 sacrificed fifty percent of his team's lives for some early reliability so adam is completely banking on the fact that his lie about having seen john will be enough to carry john through the entirety of the game so that's very brave uh, but if it works it will be epic wow <laughs> <laughs> yeah wow indeed that's it for ollie now his ability spent it's over and done with. That won't happen again. He is proven as the Virgin. Now, you may, may be asking, but Adam is not a, a townsfolk. He's a minion. However, his ability reads, you might register, or among other things it reads, you might register as a townsfolk. So I decided in that split second there that when Adam nominated Ollie, he registered as a townsfolk, it immediately executed him. And so Ollie is quite reasonably going to assume that Adam is legit the washerwoman. Hello, John. Hello. So it is. Uh, it is murder in time, John. Who would you like to attack tonight? Blair. Ooh. Sorry, I sounded like I was being sick. Uh, Blair. <laughs> Do you usually whisper your vomits? <laughs> Blair. <laughs> <laughs> um, I yeah. I, I don't want to ruin the tension here, but we've absolutely fucking nailed this. <laughs> I know this is the worst thing to say if you're confident, but oof, feeling good. It was a good choice, getting rid of Blair, uh, to a degree. But I think, in retrospect, they would have preferred us to show Blair some false info about Adam. Um, Because now it's going to make it look like there's a spy in the game. Night one, you just nail The Undertaker by chance. Mm, Don't think so, mate. Probably a spy. Hello, Isaac. (sighs) Hello, how are you? Um, I'm well, and I am happy to tell you that you are well too, as you feel once again nothing but good vibes emanating from your neighbours. Oh, that is a I love another that. zero for you. I love Isaac. that. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, my friend. Hello. Good morning. Hello, Hello. Hello. Hello everybody. <laughs> Hello all. Um, but is it a good morning? Unfortunately, for one of you. It is not. And as you all assemble around the town square, you are greeted by the bisected body of your dear friend, Blair. No, I knew it! No, I knew that was going to happen. Shit. Ah, damn it. 
What? Cool. Oh, well, no. I, I was completely useless then. I'm just gonna, like, uh, storytellers, I don't get to use my power at all, do I? So, uh, the answer to that question is nobody's power works when they're dead unless it specifies right. otherwise. Uh, and yeah. most uh, good characters wake after the demon kills. In fact, the only good character that wakes before the demon kills is the monk. Mm. Right. So, okay, so yeah, I'm not going to learn anything. Oh, Blair. <laughs> um, so, oh, Blair. I, 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 just so you all know, I was the undertaker. Um, so, oh, yeah. So, so that really sucks because the we could have learned a lot. possible way this um, could have gone. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Unless I was drunk, which is a possibility. You, I think you were drunk, Blair, because yeah? I saw, yeah, because I'm the librarian. And I saw that Ollie or you were possibly the drunk, and as we've confirmed hey. what Ollie is, <laughs> yeah. that likely me. Amazing, well, you've killed you've killed the Drundertaker. <laughs> <laughs> Luria, are you the librarian? Cool. Yes. Okay, cool, cool. Okay. Um Cool. So, so yeah. It, feel free to nominate me, by the way. I mean that that makes a lot of sense because we were like no one's claiming to be an outsider. And like, unless they're just trying to hide that for the time being, which they very well could be, um, that makes a lot of sense that I would be the drunk. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Mm. Well, that's cool. not quite so bad then. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Blair. Mm. No, it's fine. So, uh, you know what? I told you guys, she... kill Blair when you get the chance to, <laughs> so you did it. Mm. You should have killed me when you had that chance. <laughs> yeah. I, <I'm... laughs> Genuinely, I had we, this coming. Were you just pissed up and fell in your own grave? <laughs> I very well could have. Yeah, the the demon might not have had anything to do with it. That so. looks comfortable. I think it's worth pointing out, Adam, that she, she just thought she was an undertaker. She wasn't actually an undertaker, oh, so she no. wouldn't have been anywhere near Grace. Oh, even worse. <laughs> yeah. I'll take you. Just walking around. We've got clumsy people falling off the clock tower. And we've got people falling in graves. I don't think there's an imp in this town, guys. I think we're just idiots. You're just <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A washerwoman exploded by looking at a virgin. <laughs> oh, yes, Adam. Hello. Who was the, who was the other person okay. that you saw? So I saw uh, Ollie and John. Mm -hmm. uh, and okay. I would like to speak to Ollie and John now before I talk to the rest mm. of the group. I think that's a good idea. So, Adam, you're the washerwoman, John's the monk, I'm the virgin, Laurie's potentially the librarian. That means we've only got to find one more townsfolk. Okay. We're doing pretty That's well. That's very positive. Do you I have any suspicions, either of you? I don't, and I and kind of, until that point, I think we do not let out that John is the monk. Because if, oh, yeah, if, if, we, if we lose the monk, that's that's bad news, especially in the end game. So we want to keep John. Sure. Did you protect anyone last night? Did the demon try and kill? Uh, yeah, I protected um, Luke. I just kind of picked randomly. I don't really have a, oh, anything a nice to go trap. <laughs> God, it's full of traps. Um, I basically had nothing. I had. I got no reads on anyone in the first round. Oh, so Macaulay Lucan. Just... Um, so it's potentially really good that we've gotten rid of the drunk because that was such a that could, a wild yeah. card last time. That could have balls us up the entire game. the The group is going to know Ollie is good for sure, and they know I'm good as well because literally that's the only way that could happen. Like, that's the only way. Uh, mm -hmm. So. Basically, yeah, like we just go around as a, as a sort of like detective and sidekick and just go and yeah. interview people. And I guess like, so. Should we come up with a name? Should we be the Billiard Boys? We're the Billiard Boys. <laughs> oh, I think we're going to have to be, aren't we? Should, should we just hang out here and invite people into the Billiard Boys <laughs> and interrogate them? Come into my study, would you? <laughs> what are we going to say I am to people? Are we just going to be like, he's important or are we going to make up a lie? So, oh, well, that's the thing because I don't want to risk saying oh I just saw mm. that Ollie was the virgin um, which is why I did that um, but I also don't want because I, I, then I don't want people to suspect you and then uh, vote for you um, which is the chef's pretty pretty like you know that's that's a starting power so you've already done it as that's true as no but then the chef is, easy, is an easy one to, to jump in to be killed that's what I did yeah yeah time. yeah you want to be someone that we keep around Absolutely, you don't want to be really useful. Uh, but you don't want someone <laughs> that the uh, imp's going to pick off. No. Yeah. Ooh, oh ooh, god, ooh. what do I choose? Ravenkeeper. 
Raven Keeper because the the imp would never kill ah, the Raven they Keeper. Learn the character. Yeah, yeah. Right, but we would never say that I was, would we? That would be wild. Mm, only if people like we were not going to believe you unless you tell us. Okay, sure, yeah, that's that good. Be in I like my back pocket. You you came up as the drunk to me, unless cool. I'm drunk, and you are just the undertaker as you thought you were. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, Ollie and Ollie's the virgin. We've confirmed that, yes. which means that Adam's likely telling the truth. Yep. I've been told who the other outsider is. Oh, okay. But I don't want to share it with the rest of the group. Cool. Because I want to see if anyone else claims to be one. Yeah. Luke has told me that he's the he. Well, he's heavily implied that he's the saint. Uh. Yeah. All right. Um. And and you. Th- you think that that's... Well, I don't... This is what I don't know. I'm trying to work out based on who's gone for chats. Luke is now chatting to Isaac. So I'd like to right. know what Isaac thinks he is and why he's trying to get information out of Luke. Yeah. Are you an outsider by any chance? I am an outsider, yeah. Can you divulge which one you are? Yeah, so I'm the saint. Perfect. I think I trust yeah. you. I think I yeah, immediately I mean, trust you. So in terms of like who you know, do you know yeah. if we have a fortune teller? I, so from what I'm looking at, I I don't think we have a fortune teller. Okay. I honestly Cause we, don't. Because what I'm kind of looking for now is I'm looking for yeah. someone who can confirm what I am. Because what we what I don't want is a situation cool. where our rimp leads me to be put onto the execution stand. And I my, yeah. my only defense I've got is I'm the saint. I think Blair can be trusted. I think Sully can be trusted. Yeah. I think Laurie mm-hmm. can be trusted. Ollie yeah. can be trusted. Obviously me. Adam can be trusted so i think john or Issa are very suspect at this point yeah. i haven't spoken to them yet but i don't trust him also with adam just one caveat his whole play with the virgin if adam's the spy mm-hmm. he, that could work so i wouldn't rule out adam completely but i think he might be safe i think he might be on the level i'll happily reveal who i am oh really um, yes yes because my one doesn't really matter right now Okay. More matters in a later game stage, but I am the mayor. So right now I'm essentially a bit pointless, but um, but later on in the game I'm going to be quite. Okay. Yeah, uh, could potentially very important. Yeah. But if you're telling I'm the truth, gonna... of course. <laughs> yes. Yes. Absolutely. As long as I'm not a horrible liar. <laughs> You've just trapped Which me is... here alone with the demon. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yes, yeah, so um, I'm going to keep that relatively stream. I've only told you and Isaac, and I'm going to keep it to that. For the so rest you've of the told game. Isaac. Okay. Yeah, told Isaac and you. Um, oh, and oh. Uh, Hello. other people Hello. have just come back into the room. So Hello. It, it, I, I was just. I hope saying... you weren't talking about sensitive information there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just saying that I, I, I've. Uh, yeah, I'm just not going. To, I'm going to keep Stum basically um, okay. is essentially what it is. But I think that both uh, you, uh, Blair, um, uh, Ollie, and Adam seem to be provably good. Are you an outsider? This is. I'm just curious. It's I really am nice not an know. outsider. I've been. Okay, when fair. people have asked, I've said I'm townsfolk, so I'm happy okay. to share that. I'm yeah. not necessarily going to say what I am so far. I think I've spoken to almost everyone now. Yeah. Oh, and I'm just trying to like get as much information as I can and see like who does what, because uh, my ability is basically five out of ten. It's not super amazing, um, but yeah, okay, fair enough. Townsfolk. Okay. okay. I will say that Sully just told me that he told you who he was. And yeah. Claimed to be a good townsperson. I don't know if you have anything I, else I, to add I, on I, that. I trust Sully. I do trust Sully. I think he's on the level. Should we get someone... Should we get Sullivan in? Or yeah, let, Sullivan let's, in? Uh, let's talk to Sully. Great. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, oh ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. I really want an evil laugh, but... Someone's going to come in. I'll stop. When everyone did, I, I did. When everyone left for the first time, I actually did do an evil laugh. <laughs> okay. Hello, everyone. Sullivan. Welcome to the billiard Sullivan's room, here Sullivan. The billiard. Hello. Take a, Hello. Take a seat, Sully. <laughs> I'm going to sit on this billiards table. <laughs> we three billiard boys have a question for you. <laughs> the billy boys. What would you say that you were, Sully, if you were to... Uh, what's your What's your past uh, job experience? <laughs> yeah, what would you bring to the billiard boys? 
Um, well, okay, I, I, oh, okay, now I, I wasn't going to reveal this uh, to the wider group, but I do trust you, Adam, and I do trust you, Ollie, obviously, because it is demonstrably true that you are good, and if you can vouch for John as well, then if, I will tell you. If it makes you feel better, um, we could ask John to step outside, just because. Yeah, I don't mind, I don't mind but, like, if you I, to leave. I couldn't be drunk, mm. because drunks and outside are not townsfolk, so I have to be a townsfolk. Yes. And I yes. did see that John was basically the role that Ollie wasn't. And I'm a massive virgin. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, uh, to, it, uh, to be, we're, we're talking about the game here, Ollie. We're talking about the game. <laughs> oh, and yes. also, to be a billiard boy, you do realise that you have to be a massive virgin, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you've had any kind of intercourse, get out. I wouldn't have signed up if that wasn't one of the prerequisites. Don't be worried. I can reveal that I am the mayor. So I'm useful later oh, okay. on in the game, but I'm not very useful right now. So okay. that's why I've sort of, I, I've told Iza and Isaac, but I'm not going to tell anyone else I've said. I said I wasn't going to tell anyone. Uh, and then <laughs> no, I was you've just like, told oh, a, just, a room I'll full of boys. just tell one person. <laughs> well, good, sweet billion boys. <laughs> sweet billion <laughs> nice. boys. I, I, will, I, will say, I will say, Sully, by doing that, you have <laughs> almost definitely told uh, one of the bad players that you're the mayor. Almost it's a two out of three yeah. chance. <laughs> Once again, Sully striding into the game, being like, who wants to know who I am? I'm ever so important. Who wants free info? <laughs> I won't ask for anything in return. I'm, I'm so important. I'm the mayor. Quick question. Yep. Would the spy's power work on the first night? Yep. Every night, including the first, the spy wakes up and is shown the entire grimoire, as in all the information in the game, who everyone is, uh, what the demon bluffs are, wh who's drunk and or poisoned, who's been shown what, wh which two people the librarian was shown, that kind of thing. I'll explain to you my current line of thinking. Go for it. Uh, that might be a bit extra, but it's the only long play that I can gather, is that if Adam was the spy, and he might have seen that Ollie was the virgin, that's a good way to confirm himself as the washerwoman, and then he can back up the demon at some point later. But... I don't know why you would take yourself out of the game very early in that sense. Cool. Uh, I'll just make this quick. I'm just doing the rounds really quickly. Is there anything you uh, can share at all? Like, are you an outsider? Uh, first I'm not thing? an outsider. You're not. Uh, basically, like, yeah. we're in a pretty good place, I think. But I, I don't want to. I don't want to give away too much. But I don't really want to talk about my role. Um, okay. Do you have anything useful to share? Uh, I do, and I think I'll be doing it on the third night. Um, okay. Yeah, because I'll get a bit more information. We can go from there. Got it. Cool. Right, cool. Village. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> welcome back, everyone. Uh, it is, of course, day two. Uh, nominations are open. <laughs> cool. Wow. Um, I have no idea. So, does any did anyone learn anything? I, I think that I'm pretty confident that I can confirm the lorry is the librarian as he claimed i think um i think myself and ollie for sure and i'm no actually i'm fairly nailed on about john as well sully mm. is uh your uh, application for the billy boy suspended <laughs> <Let's> just... <laughs> what did you do sully don't call us we'll call you <laughs> but uh, I, uh, I, I'm just going to write a follow-up email just uh, very soon, <laughs> just to chase you on it. Just in a couple of weeks, so all don't I, worry. All I, I'm saying is, Sully... Come across quite clingy. Based, yeah, based on, <laughs> based on the last game, the, <laughs> the fact that you immediately outed yourself, I reckon you might just be playing <laughs> off that reputation <laughs> and sort of just like no, yeah, surely seeding not. a very I, powerful role uh, super I, early. I, I tried to I tried to keep it secret. Then I told a couple of people, and then I was invited into the billiard boys' room, and I got excited by the club, and so I told you all my secrets. <laughs> Don't and blame the billiard boys. Are you? <laughs> is Laurie provably trustable? Luke, hey, why is Laurie provably please trustable? Please nominate me. I swear, please nominate well, me. A, there's that. I, I think it's a good shout uh, with Laurie. If if he is, yeah, who he I mean, says I, he is. Uh, well, and, and I actually, Hold I'm on. almost, I'm almost convinced. I'm actually 100 percent convinced that he is. Based on the information that uh, that he told me yesterday and the events of what happened yesterday, lead me to believe mm. that Laurie is the librarian. My only issue is that Laurie could potentially be a Baden who has gotten the Undertaker killed straight away and therefore mm. can't be ratified as librarian oh, if shit. we execute him now. Oh, Laurie. Guys, I, mean, I have sure. it on good suspicion that Laurie is good. 
And okay. if Luke believes that as well, that's also enough for me. I think we should leave, leave a good player alive. Even though his ability is spent, he's good. Mm -hmm. He's got unlimited votes. So I think we should leave him alive. Why do you think that's this three Isaac? votes of confidence for Laurie? Um, I will tell you guys everything tomorrow night. If I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I'm dead, I'll still oh, tell shit. you. I'll yeah, just get better, a bit more better information. Better you tell us if you were dead. Get a bit more better, like, so guys, I'm going to... Don't secrets to the grave. I'm going to press you for <laughs> nominations here. Well, just to, just to thin out the the herd, is it? Should I nominate Izza? Oh, Whoa. I agree. Whoa. I agree. What, what do Excuse we know? me? I what agree. do we know? Um, is that a nomination, that Ollie? That would be a bad idea. Why do we well, want well, to nominate... Why is it a bad idea? Is it? Why is it? Yeah. Well, I need some evidence. Because I think if we know that Laurie's power has been used, like I was the chef last time, it's just a useful person to kill that isn't going to take away any good powers. If we've got a massive... You know, if we've got... If we really want to kill someone, we could kill Ollie. Ollie's power is is done now. That's true. No, no, that's, true. that makes no sense. That mean, he, we know he's good. But we, we know he's good. Also, we don't have to nominate. You might want to keep Final him around call. for later. We get more goes to find out who Final the demon is. Final call for nomination. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not going to nominate. Uh, I nominate yeah. Izzo. Okay, okay, Isaac. Uh, um, first of all, I'm just going to briefly go over how this system works. Um, as you can see, there is a clock hand. And you should all now have the ability to put your hand up or put your hand down uh, by clicking yes or no. Thank you, Sully. Little example there. Uh, as the hand, <laughs> oh as God, the hand goes sorry, around, uh, as the hand goes around, it will count the votes. Your hand needs to be up in the air before this red clock hand arrives at you. Otherwise, your vote will not be counted. There will be no retroactive voting. There will be no take backsies because pretending that you actually really wanted to vote but just weren't quick enough is a legitimate bluff that you are allowed to employ. Uh, the last person to vote on a nomination is the person who's been nominated. At the moment, we need at least four votes if you wish Izza to be on the chopping block. Isaac, your prosecution, please. Um, so I've got a lot of information, everyone, and I don't have information on two people, one of them being Izza, so I'm just throwing out it to the wind. Izza, if you can give us more information on why we shouldn't kill you, then I won't vote for you, but otherwise, I would like to see you dead. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Whoa, oh, shots fired. The new player. Oh, crikey. <laughs> otherwise, I would like to see you dead. That is such a... Now, you don't have to tell us who you are, but we will murder you if you do. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas hey, look. Day. So, um, Izzy, your... She thinks she's not a witch. Izzy's, Izzy's defence, please. Okay, I mean... I know it's probably a bad idea to just like outright say what you are, but like just trust me that killing me by execution would be a very bad idea right now. And also I feel like I'm gathering a lot of information as well. So I I was planning on kind of using that next turn. Is that because you're the saint, Izzo? Would we lose the game if we killed you? Maybe. Okay. Mm, not strong okay. enough for me. Mm. Well, oh, oh, <laughs> Isaac, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, just, my, no, only maybe that, 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 that is pertinent think, and it, interesting information because I've been told by someone else that they're the same. Yeah. I think oh. if you're the same and you're about to lose the game, you mm -hmm. say, "I'm the fucking saint." <laughs> you don't say, "Maybe." I'm the fucking <laughs> saint, all right? <laughs> I'm the fucking saint, all right? You slag. <laughs> right? Listen to me, Isaac. I'm a fucking saint. <laughs> I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna put this out there now. I'm, I'm just gonna put this out I'm there now. The that that is Boulder Dash that she's. The <gasps> that is the strongest word right. that Luke knows. Are <laughs> <laughs> we serious? Family show. I can't oh, believe he used the B word. Oh, God. Oh God. Wait. So we have go. to vote then? Yes. Oh God. Yeah. I'm you not. Don't have to. I'm not using my ghost think, vote. No, I think no, we do. Don't put your hands vote. down. Don't put your hands down. No, I think he's right. Isaac, are you playing chicken with the entire game? No. I don't think I am. I might be. Unless he's an in. Okay, Ooh. four is oh, enough. Definitely not. Definitely is it not. currently on the block? Four is enough. It can be beaten. There are nine votes on the board. Do we have any other nominations? Okay. Just, uh, can you nominate yourself? On the off You can nominate yourself. That, on the I nominate myself. Oh, okay. Okay, the, Laurie the, nominates Laurie. Laurie, tell us why you've nominated Laurie. Hey, because if uh, Izza is the saint, we lose the game, guys. So <laughs> maybe we should find more information before and get a good decision on who we think out is the saint out of Izzet and Luke, Luke who told me he was the saint. Okay. Uh, and then we can move on. There's always there's always another night. We're quite That's early true. in the game. 
There's always another true. night. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to use my ghost vote, so if someone... Same. Like, yeah. So, we currently have we four on Izza. We will need five if you wish to execute Laurie. Four, four would tie it, in which case no one would be on the block. Here we go. Let's tie it, please. I don't think we should tie it, guys. Isaac, I you think, massive I imp! I don't think we should tie it. <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't tie it. Incredibly suspect. We shouldn't it. tie it. No. I'm going to give you all my information. Oh, seriously. I'm going to give you all my information tomorrow night. Okay, we'll three get it is all. not enough. Oh my There's god! Still on the block. Fuck's sake. Uh, uh, someone nominate. What? Someone nominate Luke. It's dude. Do not kill. Do not no, put no, me on to, the block. To, to tie the vote. This man's the scene. This man's the scene. Guys, to don't let it go to Adam because I don't fully trust him. How? You don't fully trust you don't Adam. You don't trust me. Who has proven we that he's can't. trustworthy? Not really, because yeah, he could yeah. be the spy. All oh, right, you crazy kids. I'm bringing the day to a close unless I hear any more. In three, <gasps> two, oh, one. So All right, that's it. Oh my day God. over. Oh my uh, God. Izza has been executed and dies. And congratulations! You <gasps> killed Izza. Everyone goes to sleep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The good team don't know this, but that was a really good choice because they've crossed her off the list and the evils are definitely not going to kill her because they know what she is. Okay. So that was a good move by the goodies, although I imagine they don't think it was, but they'll learn later. Um, in the meantime, uh, there's not really a great deal for us to do at night. The Undertaker is dead. Uh, really, all we're going to do is find out who John wants to kill and then give Isaac his information. What I found really interesting yesterday, though, was that Isaac didn't want to kill either of his neighbours. And I understand why he's saying that, because he knows they're both good, but he's not going to learn anything else if he doesn't kill one of them. I, I would say my heartbeat has <laughs> almost reached resting level now, so let's go speak to John. Yeah. So it's it's that time of the night again when you kill one of your buddies. Who's it going to be? I want to kill Isaac, because he's got a good power, but he's also made himself look really guilty by killing the Raven Keeper. <laughs> during the day which is delicious um so just to be clear that power doesn't activate if they're killed during the day right no uh, the, the the raven keeper's ability has to be activated by the imp attacking them great so he's done me a big old cheesy quaver there it's another yep. international reference for everyone listening <laughs> from overseas um so 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 it's tricky because i want to keep luke around because the saint would be a useful one for them to not kill like, well, I like. I guess it's like a trap that people could activate during the day. Uh, I could kill Ollie, but I don't know why anyone would choose to kill him. Well, Ollie is guaranteed to be the virgin. So if he's if if we get to the final day of the game, there's three players left alive, and one of them's Ollie. Nobody is going to vote for Ollie. Ah, uh, yeah, good point. All right. Yeah. I think that kind of that kind of tips over because I would have killed Sully. Sorry, Sully. I know you'll be watching this back. <laughs> I, I love you, but I would have killed you in cold blood. But um, he's the mayor, and I know that it may just trigger onto someone else, which is too risky. Yep. Um, all right. I will kill Ollie, please. Okay. Ollie, it is. Good talk. Hello, Isaac. You are still Hello. alive. And Jeez, all right. more good news. Nothing but good vibes for Isaac. Sweet. Uh, I would like to make a prediction. Um, we're going to win next round. The sun rises once again, Ravenswood Bluff, and it rises once again on an unexpected shape in the center of the town square. Throat brutally crushed by inhuman strength, you find the lifeless body of Ollie. Oh, God damn it. Oh, no! Shit. Mm -hmm. No! Huh. We need to audition a new billiard boy. <laughs> no, no, no! I'm still good. I'll be a billiard ghost. <laughs> you have to be alive. Actually, maybe Adam's not. We'll have a look at the charter. Boy. It's the can we go to the billiard room, billiard boy? Can I? Can I? Can I join you in the billiard room? <laughs> can I? Can I? Can I come? Uh, I'm one of the billiard boys. <laughs> oh my Isaac, god! Isaac, can I talk to you? Uh, who's this? Um, it's Laurie. It's Laurie. Kitchen. Yeah, let's go, bro. Can, Blair, can I? Can I join Adam. you guys? Oh no, Adam's gone. Blair, can I talk to you? Yeah, where do you want to go? Uh, let's go lounge. <laughs> oh, it's just me and you, Sullivan, I guess. <laughs> yeah, not allowed. Just, just, not allowed just me and billion. you. <laughs> With the sweet billiard boys. <laughs> damn it all. I, I, honestly, Sullivan, I, it is making me incredibly suspicious of the billiard boys. <laughs> 
Who did you save last night, John? Um, I saved... I know you don't trust him, but I saved Isaac. I thought his points were, like, pretty solid. Should we get Luke in here? Uh, yeah, do you want to go and invite Luke? On it. Uh, John, we need Isaac dead. ASAP. Oh, okay. Got Empath it. power, super powerful. But uh, good, he good. can't see anyone either side of him. Uh, just in he's case he's uh, Sully dies. Yeah, got it. But uh... well, right. well, well, well. <laughs> Couple of ghouls playing pools. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a, Adam. I'm a billiard boy. <laughs> I'm a washerwoman, and I'm dead. <laughs> I'm Ollie. I'm a billiard boy, a massive virgin, and I'm also oh, dead. No. Oh dear. So tell okay. us what you know. What I know is, is is this how the billiard boys work? I just come in here, tell you what I know, and then you kick me out. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's a good system. We, we really aren't endearing ourselves to the group. You really aren't. I'll be honest oh, with you. We're gonna need a community outreach officer. Luke, you interested? <laughs> Hey, uh, I mean, as someone who is 100% on your side, well, what I believe to be your side, then uh, I want to be able to work with the Billiard Boys in any way and try and you know, repair <laughs> some of the, the damaged reputation that you've currently to, got. To be fair, I think you're right. I think that we should not clique up uh, and actually we, yeah. we could probably cover more ground information wise if we, if we split up. Um, basically, I trust you and you've confirmed Blair to be the drunk. Um, based on all the other information I have, Luke had to be the saint because no one else was claiming to be an outsider. Those two have to be the outsiders, um, which means Issa was not not on the level at all. Are you so? Are you getting are you getting your info because you're the fortune teller? Not quite. I am the empath. The empath. Okay. Yeah. So I trust so you. Only, you you can see me and you've seen Sully. Yeah, and I fully trust you guys. Ollie and Adam's plan, but whatever, they're dead now. Uh, Luke is the saint. Blair is good. Issa's dead. That leaves John. I think John is the demon. But then who would be the... Someone has to be the minion. Uh, probably Issa. And she's dead, so... We're yeah, good. Or my other play... I, my other play... My other, in, my other intrigue would be if Adam sticks up for John. Yeah. Because I think, like you said... I had that thought that if he was the spy on night one, saw yeah. the virgin, thought he could kill himself, and then he could just he buys himself, mm -hmm. like being trustworthy for the whole game. Well, so look, so this is the point, right? Mm. This is the point where if you're the empath, the best thing to do is kill me this round. There's no point because no, there is because that unlocks you can see Luke. But why should we kill you? Because I'm just because I'm in the way of your power. Yeah, but you're, you're good. And based yeah, on what you've but... said, Luke has to be an outsider. Because if Blair is well, the drunk, like you've confirmed, and I know that you and Sully are well, good. I, I, yeah, but unless there's a poisoner and I get poisoned the first night. I know Adam's now. Poisoner. Adam was Adam was saying that in the chat. Earlier, mm -hmm. and this is, but where does he get that from? To... Like, why doesn't he, put, he trust this, you? This puts credence to my idea that Adam is the spy. And mm -hmm. if I was going to pick a demon, I'd pick John. But... Sully is playing a very quiet game as well. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. Two can be as bad as one. It's the loneliest number since the number one. But now I'm a bit suspicious of Isaac. Although he did, I he am, did kill I am off suspicious of Isaac. Is it? <sighs> yeah. He was very quick to, to kill off. But like he said to me, he was saying to me yesterday that she was one of the people that he had literally no information on. Mm. But that like, could mean she was powerful. It could be, but like, surely if you would want to, like, you wouldn't play the saint role, right? You wouldn't play the saint card. If you were on the chopping block, you wouldn't just say, oh, I might be the saint. And you probably shouldn't I don't think she even me. said she was definitely the saint. I think she was like, yeah, she said I might be. I don't know. I think I think she panicked. I'm actually regretting because I voted with Isaac. I believed him. But I think he might either he was wrong or I think he might be on the evil team. He is curiously after a lot of information. Now you're making That's me true. not trust him, John. I, I don't trust cool. Isaac. I don't I don't think Isaac okay. is safe. It but could I trust be a deflection, you. yeah, to sort of nominate is a so hard. So you weren't so, the saint. <laughs> no, I was not the saint. So I think I might have made like a bit of a rookie mistake. Okay. Um, so that 
Um, so I was the Raven Keeper. So basically, I wanted to die, but I wanted to get killed by the demon, not uh... by execution. <laughs> but yeah, I was kind of suspicious of Isaac and Sully. Just because yeah, Sully came out and told me who he was and then asked me who I was. And then Isaac like took me off by myself and then immediately accused me because I didn't give enough information out. Gotcha. Um, and then the other one was, the other pairing was Luke and John. Just because they're the only other two that I've literally heard nothing about. Yeah, well, Luke has self-proclaimed himself to me, mm. um, like, right away. So I'm oh, okay. a bit suspicious of him. Isaac is doing the rounds and like trying to figure out what everyone is, but he's not really saying what he is. I feel like the fact that Isaac then just like wildly accused me yeah. <laughs> was then kind of suspicious to me. Yeah. And um, then again, still don't really know anything about John. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever know. So Hello, I've Adam. become very aware, uh, mostly because of Luke just kind of <laughs> took us aside and had a quiet word, that the whole yeah. billiard boy shtick is really rubbing people up the wrong way. So I've decided to <laughs> I've decided to kind of break off. And you elitists. Yeah, well, that's the thing. It's just like, <laughs> yeah. oh, we're just going to get ourselves voted and killed. I think generally the demon just killed Ollie because the demon was annoyed. Uh, <laughs> so basically, like, of everyone mm -hmm. around the circle, yeah. your information is the most interesting because I've got yeah, I've, I've, basically, I've got claims for basically everyone else and you don't have to tell me uh, mm -hmm. what you are mm -hmm. uh, I just kind of want to sort of see no, where no. your head's at because it's, I think you might fine. be the key to all of this or um, playing a bloody amazing uh, uh, game. Me, I don't think I'm there yet I think I'm a good player but I'm an alright player but I don't think I can be a good demon I can't I can't do this as the demon mm -hmm. um, but so here's the thing. So two things. I'm going to tell everyone tonight, just before nominations, everything I know. Um, that is a promise. So I'd just like to hear what you have and why you don't trust Laurie. This is very important. Uh, it's not that I don't trust Laurie. It's just that Laurie mm -hmm. is more is less trustworthy to me than Ollie and John. That's fair. Because I know I can't be drunk because mm -hmm. drunk's an outsider, which yeah. means that my read if my read was right, was uh, accurate. And obviously we've seen, like, we know Ollie's on the level. Like, that mm -hmm. that cannot be replicated. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, and I'm pretty sure that means that John then... So John is a powerful role, basically. Okay, yeah. Um, and I kind of have been... The reason I've been having him in the room with us is I kind of am w worried if people find out what he is, that he'll die. Sure. Uh, so that is me extending a huge uh, <laughs> olive branch of trust, by the way, I've just realized. No, that's fair. That's fair. Um, I'm going to explain everything in the chat because I think nominations are about to open. Okay. Um, but I don't think you should trust John. I think he I don't is know how the, I can't, the black though. sheep of the Billiard Boys. Basically, if I... If I lead to your destruction. If, I, well, if, if John's untrustworthy, that means I'm lying. Because on, I, on, on, I literally saw that he is... That him and Ollie were this role, and Ollie is not that role. Maybe you're poisoned. Okay, that's possible. Is it possible that you could be poisoned for, to get your that's information? That's also very possible as well. So Isaac, Isaac just claimed to me that he's the empath. Right. So he's been seeing. He's been seeing that me and you are good, is what he says. Great. However, oh, obviously, he's also not pushed to have me killed to reveal mm. more of the board. Which would be really mm. that's like that's the most useful thing that he can do really is like yeah because he's left the blocks in place so that does make that does make that suspicious to me because that's a good mm. play if he knows there's no empath in play and then doesn't have to claim more information as we go around the board that's mm. quite useful my yeah. other theory at this moment in time is that adam was the spy on night one mm. And he yes. saw the whole board, knew that Ollie was the virgin, kills Ollie, and immediately buys himself the ability to, for the rest of the game, be trusted. Yeah. Yeah. So my interest, my my thing is going to be, who does Adam start backing up? Welcome back, everyone. Nominations are open. Okay. Um, open? So I was the Raven Keeper, which I feel like there's like no point in me not saying that anymore. So I was basically oh, trying to get shit. the demon to kill me and not you guys. Um, Shit! Did um, you ever Isaac. tell Isaac 
that you were the Raven Keeper. No, so what happened was, uh, so before the nominations last round, I was in a chat with Isaac. He asked me who mm. I was. I said I wouldn't tell him, but that I was a townsperson. We talked about some other things. Um, but I didn't, I've never told anyone I was the Raven Keeper until this round because I figured if I was accidentally telling the demon, then they wouldn't kill me and then I wouldn't get to use my power. Mm. John, what are you? I I like, you can, you can, a couple of people know who I am and I really don't want to say. John, are you lying? No, I'm not. <laughs> Chat I sure? think both me, me and Adam can vouch I can, for John. I can vouch for John. Yeah. Oh, how really? You, how can you vouch for him? Uh, well, I can. Okay, I am the washerwoman. I saw a townsfolk role. Um, mm-hmm. I saw that either John or Ollie was this townsfolk role. I spoke to Ollie mm. and I spoke to John, and I did a thing where, so like, on the count of three, say your role. Three, two, one, and then Ollie said virgin, and then John matched with me, and I died by nominating Ollie. So that for me verifies my information, which verifies John. That's Adam, is there a chance you're a spy? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Is there a chance that you're a spy, Isaac? I know, I was just going to say, <laughs> Isaac. No. Isaac, uh, Isaac yeah. who was awfully keen on killing a saint, potential. Yeah. They weren't a saint. <laughs> I knew it. They weren't a saint. How did you know it? Because I spoke to the real saint. But how, how did you know, you know that he's the real saint? They were the real saint. Well, I'll explain that, actually. You're um, so sus, I trust Laurie. <laughs> oh, let me explain. Let me explain. <laughs> I trust Laurie. And Lori deduced that Blair had to have been drunk. Um, no one else in the entire circle claimed to be an outsider apart from Luke. There is not a Baron in this game. There are only two okay. outsiders. That Claire's Luke and Blair, which means Isa was definitely not the saint. Mm-hmm. Now I've got more information on everyone else. Uh, and if you want to listen, I'm ready to give my nomination who we should kill mm. because I believe they're the demon. Nice. Is everyone ready? You, don't. That's fine. That's mm-hmm. absolutely fine. So I, I, yeah, I think, yeah, go for it, Isaac. Sure. Um, so I'm the empath, and every night I've got a zero. So unless I've been poisoned every single night, I think my information is trustworthy. Uh, I spoke to Sully. I um, predicted he was the mayor, and either he's been running with this or. Like when he speaks to everyone, he's said he's the mayor and that probably checks out. Lori's the librarian, I trust that. Oli has to be the virgin. There can be no like yeah. question about that. He um, just looks like one. I agree. <laughs> uh, we know that Luke and Blair are the outsiders. Adam claims to be the washerwoman. That's probably true, but either way he's dead, so it doesn't matter. Mm. Isa is now dead. That only leaves John, who refuses mm. to tell us what he is. Apparently he's powerful, so let's I not can- kill him. I can tell but, you if you want. I think mm-hmm. it's a really bad move, but if it's if it's that or me dying, I may as well tell you. Because I can use it. I, considering sure. the demon is definitely still alive, I would really prefer it if you didn't, John. That's fair. And the fact that Adam is trying to save John so much, I think he might actually be the spy. Um, mm-hmm. But I would like to nominate John, because based on all the information on the board that I think to be true, it only leaves John. Can I? And I think that checks out. Okay. okay. Yeah. Honestly, so oh, okay. I'll, a, I'll defend myself. Honestly. A very succinct uh, prosecution there, Isaac. Uh, John, your your response, please. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. I can tell you who I am, um, even though. Well, I have to, I suppose. Uh, I'm the monk. Um, first night, I protected Luke, and I protected you last time, Isaac, because I believed oh, you cheers, when you mate. killed when you killed Isa. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, even because I went with you, I thought that was a good. Because of all the saint confusion, I thought definitely dodgy. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I can't protect myself. So I'm basically fucked. Um, I'm not the imp. I was trying to lay low and protect people. I don't have a. I literally have no idea who it is. If you're telling the truth, then Sully and Laurie are definitely safe. I can't imagine you being poisoned three times. That doesn't make sense. I I believe Luke is the saint. So I think Luke is safe. Can I? I've got nothing just, to be honest. I can. The only <clears throat> thing that strikes me as potential: what's more likely that Isaac, Isaac was poisoned three nights in a row, or Isaac is drunk and Laurie was poisoned once? Oh. Hmm. That's a fair shout too. That is a good point. Mm. Execute Wait. with wisdom. Uh, votes for John. <sighs> oh. I mean, even if you don't trust me, the information all adds up. 
It doesn't, though. It can be unpicked with one thing. Fair. Okay, one is not enough. Apologies for interrupting your uh, screaming match, guys, but you're welcome to return to it. <laughs> Sorry. I want to nominate Isaac. Unless I was going to say, the, the three people... Really good. Yeah, like, the three people I was suspicious of coming back into this were... One of them included Isaac. Um, mm. Because I felt yeah, like you just I... gunned for me really fast after that conversation with you. And I went with Isaac to kill to kill you. That was my fault. Well, as I've told everybody <laughs> apart from Luke, <laughs> <laughs> I am the mayor of this town. <laughs> Kept that the secret. Uh, I'm always campaigning. Um, <laughs> so, um, uh, I'm useful in the end game. Now, you can kill me, but I would be very useful tomorrow night if yeah. it's just three players. Um, it's, uh, it's so... You're more than welcome to kill me. I know that I'm good, and so we would find out potentially information of John if Isaac is the empath. But That's true. I think it's it's because I have a useful thing specifically for tomorrow. Although now the demon has a choice. If we, <laughs> if the demon has a choice between me and John. Yeah. Uh, uh, like, does he kill me that's useful tomorrow, or does he kill John yes. that's safe? Probably yeah. we do keep John. So John, okay, I've got, I've got, I've, I've got <laughs> thoughts Fucking now up. that. Are, oh shit! Oh, God. Are you okay? <laughs> 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 it's, like a, it's, a, it's like a beautiful so. mind. <laughs> <laughs> Carol. So, 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 <laughs> So, it, I mean, well, it's, yeah, if, it, I think we go for Isaac, please, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Lights out, to the fish Lights out too, the script's got out of hand. <laughs> this is oh, listening to God. Boris Johnson, that was. So, <laughs> One more thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going um, to push you guys for nominations now. I already, I've already nominated Isaac. Well, you're, you're dead, dead, Blair. No, yes. Uh, oh, Sully, I will nominate Sully Isaac then. Yeah. Sully is nominating <laughs> Isaac. Uh, Sully, do you have anything to add to that? Um, no, uh, other than the the fact that he's going after quite a few um, uh, potentially good people that I think are quite demon in my mind they seem to be definitely good um, and uh, yeah it's just hella sus and uh, <laughs> and the empath is is a is a pretty good one to go for if you are the imp because. Mm -hmm. You know who's evil, so you can just you can always be well, telling the truth. You, you don't. Um, more like oh, do you not know who right? the your minion is? Yeah, yes, yeah, the, yes. the minion. The, 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 the evils know each other. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Isaac, oh, sorry, sorry. your yeah, yeah. your defense, mm. please. Uh, I'm a good character. I'm the empath, and literally from the start of the game, I've had information on most players, uh, and I've just been trying to take out the ones who just didn't have I didn't have anything on them. It was like it has to be Isa and John. And mm. that has been what I've been done doing this whole game. I think it's a fair defence. It's, um, yeah. it's, it's. It, I don't yeah. think it's it's nailed on that it's you, Isaac, by any means. If I didn't know um, you were wrong, I would be completely with you. And I yeah. voted with you now in I the think past. It's John. Here we it go. We're be, gonna run it the can't phone. be Laurie. Uh, go soon to get one vote, right? Okay, yeah. That is correct. One vote mm -hmm. for the whole save, game. Save your save your vote, Ollie. Save your vote. Oh, Ollie, so dropping you? them votes. Oh, thanks for that, Oli. Going to kill a good player. Oh, oh, I want to click hand up. I clicked the wrong button. No, no, my hand is up. No. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> God damn it. I clicked my picture and it... There oh, will Mr. be no Rolls take back series. <laughs> 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 okay, four is uh, obviously enough. Isaac on the block. Uh, it can still be beaten. It will probably require dead votes. Do we have any other nominations? I mean, we can vote Sully and I can see if I get a reading on John. That I mean, that's not a bad shout, to be honest. The only thing is, is that I'm I'm helpful in that end game situation, but I am happy that's to true. take the sacrifice. If Sully is who he says um, he is, we should keep him alive for the final round. So, do we have any other nominations, guys? If not, I'm going to bring the day to a close in three, two, one. All right, commiserations, Isaac. You are executed and you die. The game, however, is not over. It continues. Ah. Everybody goes to sleep. Oh, God. I hate it. I hate it so much. I don't trust John. John is going to survive. This is when you know you've done a good job as storytellers because we are 
most likely about to go into a situation where there are three players left alive, which is what we wanted. And it feels to me like everybody has the tools at their fingertips to pull a win out of this right now. I was really concerned, I guess, to begin with, um, that the evil team, because they, they, they had a, a very strong starting strategy um, and were picking the right people to execute. Uh, and the way the good team have managed to piece together, uh, particularly Isaac, when I say the good team, particularly Isaac, the way he's managed to figure some stuff out and pinpoint the inconsistencies has just been nothing short of brilliant. Um, it's yeah, yeah, so close right now. Very impressive. Like almost like he's got access to the grimoire. Like that. But obviously, that's impossible. But it really is. He really has done an incredible job. And what's more amazing, he's done an incredible job without killing any of his neighbors. He's voluntarily chosen not to get any more information through his ability, and has still managed to pretty much nail everyone. So yeah, when you're watching this back, Isaac, quality chef's kiss. Mwah. Hello, John. Hello. This is possibly your final uh, attempt at killing. <sighs> yeah. So, I, th I just want to talk this through with you, but what I would like to do is kill an already dead player. Is that possible? Yep, you can attack anyone you like, including dead players. Presumably you're going to try and simulate uh, the existence of the monk. Yes, that is exactly it. And so I'm going to say that I protected Sully. Okay. Is that is that alright? Can I do that? You can absolutely do all of that, yep. If I could kill Sully, oh, I would. Well, but I know it's going to deflect, isn't it? Uh, it's not necessarily. It depends on what we think is the most fair and balanced thing to do in this situation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's very much you. a kind of dungeon master, like, you know, do I knock a few hit points off or add a few hit points on kind of situation. Oh my god, this is. I was so cocky before, so arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my hubris. I thought we had it in the bag. I should, I should have killed Isaac last round, and I was like, no, I've just sided with him. That would look really suspicious. But he was so much worse to leave alive. Oh, he's unravelling my plan, Isaac. If you really were the monk, you would have a 33 and a third percent chance of stopping the demon from killing tonight. So, yeah, you're in a very sticky situation. I, uh, look, if I was the monk, or obviously I'm not the monk, if I was the monk, there's no way I wouldn't protect Sully. Right. Yeah. Which means the demon would either protect... I, I would either die, if if I'm lying about being the monk, I would either be killed by the demon, or Sully would be. So I'm going to I'm gonna kill no one, and I'm okay. going to try and claim to be a monk. I don't know if this is a good play or not, but it's the only thing I can get my head around at this stage. Fair enough. So just for the uh, for the benefit of completionism, who would you like to attack? Uh, I will att <laughs> I'll attack the dead body. Of <laughs> I'll, I'll attack my minion. I'll okay. attack Adam. Poor old Adam. Um, just going over there, giving, As a giving, him, for his giving his gravestone a few slaps. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Another sunrise, another day in Ravenswood Bluff. Another assembly of townspeople around the town square. First thing in the morning. And as you all gather and take a good hard look the dirt in front of you you oh, see oh my God. nothing Ooh. no new body has been yes. added to the pile oh okay yes, yeah. All right. yes. just suck yes. it in <laughs> alright so, okay John, I protected protect Sullivan John. I protected Sullivan and the impotent yes, Sully John. yes oh, Sully no, you look so guys 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 so guys, guys, don't, guys don't fall for this yes. the imp can kill a dead yes. body it could still be John Oh, this could on, just be not. big I brains. I my man Sally. This honestly oh. could just be a big brains ploy. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I I don't know. How how can my how could all the stuff that I laid down be unravelled by just Isaac telling people? Well, yeah. Okay, so this is the thing. I don't trust Isaac because this whole time, like all of my information has been like kind of supposedly coming from him, and it, right. I don't trust that. The thing is, like, Isaac, when when Isa said, like, I, I'm the saint, Isaac did not back down, and he had no, like, no reason. Like, yeah. I, I, okay, look, I, all I really have on Isaac is that he's been really suspiciously aggressive. There's, I think this is, yeah, this is the only thing that I have That's going. That's the only thing, but I think it's either Sully or Laurie at this point. And for yeah. and for me, Laurie makes the most sense. 
I'm really worried we've got a drunk mayor. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. That that would be good. <laughs> I mean, it'd be a hell of a play. <laughs> I mean, I yeah, I'm kind of under the idea that we should kill someone tonight. Yeah. Because I don't fully trust Soli. But oh, like, no. God, I don't trust anyone. <laughs> Hello, Ollie. Hello, Ben. What can so I do for you? So is there, uh, so my, my power, the Virgin, is there a chance that Adam could be the spy? Or is he definitively the washerwoman? Uh, so the Virgin's power works on townsfolk and this part of the spy's ability is that they can register as a townsfolk so absolutely uh, the spy could nominate the virgin and get themselves executed ballsy play on day one when you're 50% of the evil team but I'll leave that up to you to decide whether or not that's the case what? I thought it was definitively no <laughs> <laughs> okay this is good yeah yeah this is good and it must be then <sighs> Luke or Laurie and I'm more suspecting Laurie now Okay, because um, Laurie and Isaac were a team. Yeah, although maybe it's Luke and he's playing the Saint card, but I just don't so, know whether they were. Oh. So I've I've been I've been uh, thinking Luke is safe the whole time, but maybe that's my mm. mistake because he mm. used the Saint ploy when Issa was on trial to make mm. and it made her look really guilty. But maybe yeah, that's just really. a great tactic to make someone else look shifty. Yeah. Absolutely. I was like, oh, why would anyone bother saying that they're the same <laughs> after someone else has called it, other than to be like, you're lying, because I'm the same. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's actually possibly just a really, really, really good move. It's a trap, is what it is. It's an amazing trap. Of everyone at this exact moment in time, Sully sticks out to me the most, because he's the one who's picked a character that will want to keep going through to the final round and he's that's yeah, true the time. That's, yeah. yeah and he it told depends me on who john if john well, is the monk i believe please. adam to to actually ollie can i speak to you really quickly <sighs> sure in the library make it quick guys i wanted to really quickly ask you um what order did things happen when adam invited you into the billiard room uh so it was just me and adam he said that he knew it, he knew one of two things he knew that someone was a character uh, out of me and john exactly as he described it really okay nominations are open there are four of you now an awkward number for blood on the clock tower because if you execute yeah. someone today and get it wrong it is almost certainly game over oh. um if the if the demon wakes up and kills someone uh, so get it right today or give it a night and get it right tomorrow if you quick. believe someone will die at right. night quick question why do we trust john I, well, like because the of the only, whole Adam thing. Yeah, the, no, the reason I the reason I trust started to trust John, even though he was one of the people I was suspicious of, was because Adam corroborated it, and I believe that Adam is the washwoman, like he said he was. Okay, so Adam, you saw a monk basically between, between John and Ollie. John yeah. Ollie, and then I went to Ollie, and I okay. uh, we spoke at the same time. Then I went to John, and we spoke at the same time. The problem we have is that yeah, if Sully is the mayor. And we yeah. don't execute anyone when there's only three players left, which if we leave it one night, there will likely be. Yeah. Mm. And Sully isn't the mayor, we lose. Yeah, we don't true. execute someone, oh, we don't shit. get to execute the, de we don't I, get no, to execute Sully, the demon. Sully's got to be the mayor, right? Well, based on... He's been yeah. consistent the whole time. But we don't. But then, what other? We don't have any other information about another reclu uh, another outsider. The thing is, there is no other out. No one's claiming another outsider in the game. Lies can be consistent, well, you know. <laughs> yeah. Luke is yeah. claiming to be a saint, which is another yeah. outsider, is it not? Yeah. Yeah. So, so there's, 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 there's a drunk and a saint. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that's that le that leaves me, John, and Sully. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it. It's yeah, or or Luke is lying about being the saint. Yep, but then that wouldn't well, wouldn't someone else claim to be one of the other outsiders at that point? Yeah, yeah, like, I know there are two. Yeah, tell you what, here's the pitch that really terrifies me, right? Laurie, if you were poisoned on the first night, and Isaac is, mm -hmm. and Isaac, you were absolutely the empath, like, mm -hmm. and you were getting completely correct information. If Laurie, if you just happen to be poisoned on the first night, what if Sully's drunk? Oh fuck! No, they wouldn't make Sully drunk again. Why? Well, based on what? You, based you on it being, you can't, you can't run a game on that though. You can't, you can't run a game on. They wouldn't do that. Honestly, uh... guys, it's fine. I'll be absolutely fine. Oh, mayor! 
I ran oh. this town. <laughs> so, <laughs> just want to just want to be uh, just want to be perfectly clear that I totally would do that. I have done it. Oh god. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. oh no. Jesus. No. Like, we know this game's going to be a sequel. Is all I'm saying. Like it's it's oh, it's in direct god. reference of another video. Sully, you're such That's a, a sot. really. <laughs> that's a really, really also, good point because, oh, fuck. <laughs> I've had it clarified oh to me that my virgin power wasn't as <laughs> definitive as I thought. So Isaac's theory, I'm sorry, Isaac, of Adam potentially being the spy covering for John, and they hoodwinked me into a billion boy friendship, <laughs> could totally stand. That's the, that's the, that, was the, that was what I was told. Can... Can a spy attack a, well, nominate a virgin and die? Is that possible? Absolutely. The spy's ability, uh, part of it Dies. reads, you oh, might register as a test okay. John, come uh, John on. It's not Adam. me. Come on. Hang on, wait. So the, spy, so, the spy, so the spy would die if they nominated the... the spy, a spy might die because they might register as a townsfolk. Is this... Oh, okay. Is, Fine. Is this play worth the, like, the imp losing their only backup? Why would I be so eager to die on the first go? I, I well, thought I had you information. Be for the rest of, because for the rest of the game, you because for the rest of the game, you would be trustworthy. Yeah, and like we, mm -hmm. and yeah. It, you say it was, it's a play that would have worked, but we're right up until this point, like the very last night, where we're now starting to question it, which means it was a fucking great play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Adam's I mean, always evil, guys. It's all true. Oh, Adam, Adam is oh, always good evil. point. I that's agree. right. That's yeah. yep. That, that's that's <laughs> into meta game, guys. <laughs> Right uh, so for me, it's, oh, it's no. between Ollie, them. Oh no, Ollie, they hoodwinked you. <laughs> Ollie, so, Ollie, you know John, you're the most I'm susceptible, the, Ollie. Ollie, oh, I'm just another no. right. young I'll be, virgin. Go, Ollie, it will break my heart guys. if they hood. If they lie to Ollie, it will break my heart. The, Ollie, the guys. billiard boys is real. It's guys. real, Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I'm going to bring the day to a close unless I hear any nominations oh, in three. Oh fuck. Oh, two. Oh, let for me, it's, it's between let, like let John and Adam and John and Sully One. as potential. Mm -hmm. It's not Sully, guys. Okay, no Let's nominations to today. Ah! No nominations today. Everyone goes to oh sleep. God. John, don't protect oh, Sully. No. Don't protect Sully. Am I drunk again? Why can't I clean up my act? Oh, man. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> they oh. do not know. That's what I love about this. They don't know, but they think. They, like, they've considered so many... Like They've considered every world that has been presented to them... And then some. Like, it hadn't even crossed my mind that, oh yeah, Sully could be the drunk mayor. Like, that's that's huge. That's actually done us a massive favour, the fact that they've said that, because it kind of frees us up uh, at night. If John does attack Sully, we can maybe kind of keep him alive. Yeah. Um, and, and ping it off onto Luke or something. But uh, yeah, this is going to be a photo finish. I'm really interested to hear what John says now. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is also twice now that the suspicion has moved on to John and Adam has managed to deflect that suspicion not by actually using logic but simply by shifting the discussion into something else so the player the so the good players seem to have forgotten that a moment ago they were being suspicious of John and now they're getting lost in the weeds of the the different possibilities all right John it's uh, it's that time again <sighs> fuck me this is unbelievable okay i would like to kill or attempt to kill Sully. Okay. <clears throat> right, this is one of those huge storyteller decisions that could have far-reaching uh, consequences here. Now, by leaving Luke in the game and allowing Sully to die, we force the town to make a choice between John and Laurie, which is bad for evil. So my initial instinct is to ping that, like, have Sully's mayor ability function, have, his, uh, have the attack deflect onto Luke and kill Luke. But at the same time, I almost kind of feel like if we do that, then it's going to encourage people to have a to just not kill anyone and have the mayor win, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But I almost kind of feel bad for evil. But but oh god, this is a. What do you think, Tom? <laughs> what's, um, what's your I, I honestly don't know. I think there's something about getting rid of Luke and then literally meaning that the three remaining suspects are all equally plausible for nomination yeah i agree i agree that's that's all i wanted to hear uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna have that ability ping off onto luke i know it's not what john wants but he doesn't know what he wants we know what he wants <laughs> we know what's best for him okay, <laughs> okay so uh let's wake these guys up oh my 
Oh, Jesus fucking I'm scared. God. Good Christ. morning, Christmas Ravenswood Day. Bluff. Oh, let's go. Morning. I'm excited. Another sunrise, another town assembled around the square. Assembled <sighs> to witness the charred remains of a nocturnally immolated Luke. That's okay. the great. That's a good play. Oh, that's that's, good that's play. not a bad. That's not. That's, that's not a bad. Actually, play by that's, the team. A, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. Well, how is? That? I mean, because I can tell you because of what you said, Isaac. I didn't protect Sully, and I protected Laurie. But fat lot of good that did. Because mm. I, I still don't know why you said that, but I trust you. I don't know why. Uh, only because, like, if you keep on protecting Sully, then the demon. Would have probably done the same thing, but now he went for Luke, so it's fine. Okay, we have two options here, everyone. Mm-hmm. Either we kill either, oh god, we kill someone, any three of them really, at this point, or we hope that Sully isn't drunk and that he's telling the truth. Oh my god. And we try to win that way. I think it, I think we have. Maybe it all hangs cool. on whether Sully is drunk or not. I, 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 <laughs> yeah. And do we and do we think we and do we think we had a poison? Here? I don't know if Sully is drunk. Uh, I think Sully. Do you think he's so, telling the truth? I think Sully might be the imp. No, no come on. I'm not. I'm not. I, but what, if we, it, what if Sully but, and Laurie are working together, and no. Isaac is drunk? And Laurie knows this. Well, okay, he's... Adam. Now I no, think no, he's no, fine. No, 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 yeah. You won't oh see God. the fake ability. Yeah, yeah. That's why, I, Isaac, I think you're drunk. Well, the, the spy will see the fake ability as well. So the spy do, oh. sees everything. The spy knows everything that the storyteller knows. Oh. Oh. Right. Isaac, oh, I, I, like I swear, I swear to God, <laughs> it's the only thing that to me makes sense. I just yeah, that don't is, trust you, Adam. I get man. that. Adam is <laughs> really <laughs> striding out with his big play in the last round. If Laurie is a spy, <laughs> And then imme- and immediately knew that Librarian wasn't in game. Immediately has Blair killed, and then immediately pimps her as the as the drunk. That takes the drunk out of the game. Oh my God, mm. that's good. Good yeah. point. That's true. Uh, I, I, but, I, I am gonna I, 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 ultimately. Sorry, that's a lot smarter than I am. I, I I am gonna say, and I said this in the room on the in yesterday as well. Laurie wants to be killed from day one. He told me on day one, you may as well nominate me now because my power is done. Gotcha, but he's the spy. But, but and he I did think also. Adam. I think Adam didn't he try and nominate himself when I was nominated as well? Or was that someone no, else? That's, yeah. that, but that, that's the thing is like the spy can yeah. just the spy can go right. If the, the spy's spy seen the yeah, and the spy yeah, mm-hmm. Adam, you would know that, wouldn't you? That the spy can bloody yeah. well go. Well, right? it's, oh, come yeah. on. Like, I'm, I, now's Adam. the time to confess, Adam. The the, the, the imp has led you down a dark path. <laughs> you, can, you can come back to the light. Just bloody well admit it, mate. It's not your also, fault, Adam. I think, You're a victim I think of circumstance. Your fault, just own up. I hate I this so much. Some, <laughs> I think something that someone said yesterday that is helpful right now as well is that no one else has claimed to be an outsider. So, yeah. like, but if the- I if I wasn't drunk, and mm. Isaac what? wasn't drunk, like someone else. Uh, no, my, my pitch is up. My pitch to me, Blair, if you weren't drunk, I would have been drunk. No, I have to be the drunk librarian to see another drunk. My pitch is that Isaac is drunk, and that's why he's seen the two evil players next to him as good this entire time. But Adam, oh my so god! Convenient. Then Luke, it, then so Luke is convenient. the other outsider. That here's the thing. It's Adam, not fucking convenient Adam, for us. Adam, here's one that doesn't really check out because. As a drunk person, shouldn't everything be all over the place? I have gotten a consistent zero every night when I was alive. Not if it's consistently Drunks, misleading. I, I can Drunks actually get I can actually cut in here and say that uh, the the storyteller's job most of the time to, for the drunk is to mm. convince them that they are the thing that they believe they are. So yeah. absolutely, I would give a, a drunk right. character, so. uh, a drunk player, and consistent reason, information. Unless I really felt Sally that got... Good was losing hard. Mm. The reason Sully got misleading stuff last time was when it changed to make it look like the new thing he learned was, was wrong was instead wrong. of the yeah. old thing. Mm. Yeah, so exactly. do you think Sully's evil, though? That's I don't. Because, but that's the only thing that makes sense to me, and I know that I'm the only person who <laughs> believes this line <laughs> like, of logic at this point, but I know John is good. Like, I know so Adam, that. 
Adam, you're the. What? But can anyone else corroborate John? That's my thing. Is it just Adam it's, that's backing up John at this point? It's just a, backed it's up just by Adam. Adam. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it is. It is just me. Yeah. Purely because of once, that. Once well, upon a time, I could. And I protected Sally. <laughs> but why, Ollie? Ollie, why the billiard boys will ride again. Adam. We will ride once again. Once upon a time, <laughs> when I thought that my these fucking billiard boys. Ollie, oh, a pair of ghouls I, playing pool. We can we can be this again. I think it's time. Oh uh, I think it's time oh. to talk nominations. Uh, it's uh, there was on the previous video there was a comment that said, "I wish you'd just shut up and let them talk." Well, <laughs> let me tell you from experience, if you do yeah. that, it will never end. So Correct. you do have to absolutely wedge right. yourself in there at some point. Careful uh, what you wish right. for. Yeah. You're so, right. so, um, so I am now going to call it. We need nominations. Uh, three of you can nominate. Three of you can be nominated. At least one of you is the demon. At least one of you is good. Uh, nominations, please. Oh. Sully, it's not don't, you, is it? No, no, it isn't. Don't nominate and then we'll win unless I'm drunk and I just don't know if I am. Um, oh, God, I can't take I, that risk. I'm <laughs> okay with the mayor win. Yeah, I'd love that if the, we have a well, mayor. That would fucked. be a great way to end this video. <sighs> if we have a mayor. Should we risk it? Should we risk I we it? I think we've got a mayor. I think we go to bed. Know. Know. But it would be so convenient for the so demon it's, it's or the minion to say that they're the mayor because then they have to be in until the end, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And oh, it would be die. such a good play. I think... <laughs> yeah, you have to do it. I think, I think I'm not drunk or poisoned. Don't do... Sully and Laurie are on the level. Yeah. yeah on totally. the level. Yeah, yeah okay. you would have to be I, drunk or poisoned for this. Yeah, exactly. And it, I think I think we 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 leave it actually yeah because it, it, unless I'm fucking drunk I'll be so oh, oh I don't <laughs> so wait so Isaac who do you like what do you think the minion is if it's not if there's not a poisoner then like who do you think the minion is and what do you think they are honestly I still think I think the minion is either you is a or Adam as the spy mm, mm. Um, what do you think is it was hundred percent not me demon. okay but what do you think is was. Uh, so here's the thing. So basically, I worked out what everyone's roles were, apart from John and Isa. And when I spoke to them, they gave me nothing, and they confirmed they weren't outsiders, which proved it. Was but we both had sick had powers. <laughs> yeah, you did, but I mean, nothing. Okay, so there. what would you what would you think that I was? Yeah, because you thinking? killed Isa. Otherwise, right. we'd have the Raven Keeper. Well, in I'm play. bringing this day to a close unless I hear some nominations oh in God. five. Right, let it close. Should we nominate John? No. Let it close. Nominate Sully. Let it close. Nominate Sully. You have to do it, otherwise you lose now. Nominate Sully. Let it close. I think we let it close. I think Sully's drunk. I think Sully's drunk. Let it close. Do it. Final call. Someone. 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 All right. I nominate Sully. No. Oh my God. Who said this? Who did this? John said it. Okay. No yeah, right. can't risk right. it. Simmer down, kids. Simmer down, or I'm going to turn this car right around. <laughs> John, John, John please back to Canada. Case. Tell us why you chose Sully over Laurie. Because I blame you, Ben. I think you fucking made him the drunk again, and I think you're laughing in your little ivory tower at us all fighting when he's there <laughs> drunk the whole time. You're rubbing your hands because you're like, this would make great TV. These fucking idiots attacking each other. And I think he's I think you've drunk. done it. He's not Actually, drunk. John, no. I live he's in a tiny imp. apartment in the Midlands, so uh, yeah. Sully, <laughs> 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 your your, uh, your response, please. I am a hundred percent the mayor. I think that Adam is the spy. I think that John is the imp. I think Isaac's thing is correct. <sighs> And the only thing mm. that could potentially fuck this all up is that I'm drunk, but I genuinely think that, that we're better off just not making an execution tonight. But, oh, oh God, it's Jesus Christ, it's scary. Oh. Ah, Sully, I, I want to believe ask, you. But killing me will be too much. Well, well, if we don't kill Sully now, he is the mayor we win, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If, I'm, yeah if, as long as I'm not drunk. If we, kill him, if we kill him now, he's the demon, I guess, that we win as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, okay. But but if, I, if, if we kill, kill him, but if we but kill him and he's the mayor, if we kill him and he's the mayor, and John then, is the demon, the, then, the de then John then the demons, then the demons yeah. win. Right, cool. That's mm. what I want. We either to win or cool. we lose. Uh, okay, amazing. If that's just what I wanted. Vote on Sully. Oh, Here we go. Oh. Keep those hands down, oh, folks. Oh no, guys! I think it is. Don't let him do this. Two votes required. Two votes required. Three living players. Come on, come on, billiard boys. Oh my god. Obviously, my obviously no. Really cool. no, it's literally no, the it's John and Adam. And the, it's exactly not, the working it's together. Not. Okay, yes. Okay, we have to. We okay, have guys, to nominate. Two John, is enough. We have to nominate John. Guys, I, it's I, not. 
Oh to... God, no, it has to be. That was enough. Oh, I nominate John. Oh, okay, yeah, Laurie, Laurie nominates I John. To... Laurie, tell Laurie, us Laurie, I know we have beef, but not Laurie, like this. Uh, guys, calm down. Laurie, tell us why I've nominated John. I have nominated John because uh, I th I'm thinking the long game has been Adam has been the spy. He saw everything, got Ollie on side immediately, got to play the whole game. It's good. John has been very quiet, uh, said he was the monk, and then his power kicked in. Um, I can, on a, can on I a tell round you? Where okay. they, yeah, okay, obviously, Sully would be quite an obvious choice. Uh, I just think that's that's what we need to do. Oh, fuck. Okay, John. We don't, we, we've been forced into a situation where we don't have a choice anymore. If we don't think it's, if we don't think it's Sully, we have to vote for John. We need we to can... at least So tie, jo John's, tie John's, it. John's response, first mm. please, before we put it to the floor. Okay. Count. First night I protected Luke, second night I protected Isaac because... First night was a guess, I didn't know, I just picked someone. Uh, second night Isaac because it, when he attacked Isa, I believed him and I thought maybe that's going to make him a target. Third night it was Sully and then fourth night it was Laurie. I, I, I don't know what else to say other than if I'd revealed I was the monk earlier I would have been killed. And I think because I revealed it late, it wasn't worth killing me because there were more powerful players left. That's all I've got. Two votes yes. currently on Sully. Three to execute, two to tie. Here we go. Are we just leaving it tied? Yeah, yeah. just two votes. So only two. two people yeah. vote. Just leave oh. it as it is, yeah. Don't do it, is it? <gasps> oh, no, no, no one else vote. No one else vote. Oh, great. Oh, oh my no. God. No one else oh, no. vote. Oh, no one else vote. No one else will. I'm trusting you guys so much on this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So uh, two causes a tie. Um, oh, Isaac, is it you? So my final question oh, is: Isaac. Sully, would you like to nominate Laurie? Nope. No. Nope. I think we leave it for the night. Okay. Yeah. In Sully, that case, then. Sully, I don't know. In that case, know. then. The game is. Sully, no. Has no, ended. Sully. The game is no. over. And I can confirm. Oh. That the good team just won with a mega victory. Yes! 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 Shut up, Adam. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Jack Flash. Oh. Blair, do you trust me now, Blair? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, yeah. Isaac. I was Leave so unsure out. that whole time. <laughs> I'm so unsure. <laughs> there was never any billiard boys, Ollie. There <laughs> were yeah, no, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Jeez, guys. Ben, would you be so kind as to go around the clock and tell us who everybody was? I will, I will. Uh, what I will say, actually, is, um, John, you, you know, on that vote just then, you totally should have thrown your hand up and made it three on you, because that would have made it look like you were the minion and Laurie was your demon. Then you were trying to take a dirt nap. Why would? But then I would have died, right? No, because then, because then Sully or someone might have said, "Sully, you need to nominate Laurie," because John's John's just chosen to die. That's what I, that's what I reckon. Well, that's probably what I would have done mm. in that situation. But yeah, I think oh, you, cool. you would. Thanks, you, bro. You, you were definitely <laughs> in a, you were definitely in a sticky situation there at the end. It wouldn't. Oh, have, you, it wasn't are you kidding me? <laughs> Fucking hell! I but, was on uh, the so ringer then. for like two hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was that was that was like. <laughs> Yeah, Jesus, that was back this up against game. the wall stuff. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the roll call. I think it might provide you with a few surprises. So first of all, we had Blair the Undertaker, who was the Undertaker. Blair was not the drunk. Blair was oh the gosh. Undertaker, oh, uh, who, who yeah, died on the... night two. Right. Uh, Sully, of course, was was the mayor. Uh, it's you, you've just learned that Sully was the mayor. Well done, Sully. It's quite rare that you Come see a mayor win, uh, on. especially online. Oh. Um, Isaac was the empath who was legit the empath uh, and surprisingly didn't want to kill any of his neighbours but it but it worked out quite well for him in the end he figured things out uncannily frankly um, from his seat at the top of the circle uh, Laurie was the drunk who believed he was a librarian so we told him that either Blair or Ollie was the drunk words are squiggly wait did we know that I thought no. Blair was the drunk. No, Laurie was the drunk. I did say well, I did. I did say at one point either Blair is the drunk or I am also. The, I am the drunk oh, who no. thinks the other people are drunk. <laughs> um, Ollie was of course the virgin who got nominated on day one by Adam the spy. Adam re God, uh, yeah. registered the as brain. a townsfolk and died. It was a good play. So, <laughs> so good. clever. Adam. It was a so very ballsy clever. move. Very ballsy move. Um, <laughs> Were you laughing at me? In the behind my back in the billy <laughs> the whole time, the whole time. Oh no, my heart! I can't. Ah, oh, just a stupid virgin. Izzah was, of course, your Raven Keeper, and 
she was hoping to kind of seem uh, like a valuable player, uh, latched onto an opportunity to claim Sane, but unfortunately you killed her before her ravens could come home. Uh, Luke was, of course, your actual Saint. Uh, more on that Hello. in a minute, because that's important. And, of course, John was your long-suffering imp who spent the last mm. couple of hours hanging on by his fingernails. <laughs> uh, his, th his three bluffs were My Fortune Teller, Monk, and Recluse. Uh, a couple of things about John. John decided to attack Adam the Spy two nights ago when nobody died to simulate a mayor. John actually attacked Mega. Sully last night and said, Sorry, I really Sully. hope Sully dies. Uh, yeah, we were then true. faced with a very difficult decision because... <laughs> Uh, regardless of what we think about um, you know, whether or not Sully the Mayor deserves to be in the last three, uh, we actually felt that um, killing Sully would have given the evil team less of a chance yeah, because would it would have left Luke alive, who is guaranteed outsider at this point, and it would have simply mm -hmm. been a choice between Laurie and John. And I, I'm pretty confident that without a couple of other people to potentially throw Sus on, mm -hmm. uh, you would have just killed John. So while I imagine you're sat there, John, a little bit frustrated that Sully survives, just know that we were genuinely trying to give you a shot at victory yeah. there at the end <laughs> by keeping him in. Oh, man. What oh, a game. So down to the wire. Oh, my God. Oh, great. Uh, Isaac, you are... You were like a Thank dog you. with a bone. Oh. Just I like, yeah. you would not let go of the facts. I'm like, please I stop was... bringing up facts, Isaac. They're so inconvenient. <laughs> I was Literally, so I told angry. you guys, I broke it down, and you, no one voted. I'm so upset. Oh, it was so I'm good. So sorry, when, when, you just kept, Isaac, you sh when you just kept making sense, I was just like, this is really inconvenient. I've got <laughs> everyone else. <laughs> would he just be quiet and stop being so right all the time? <laughs> yeah, you should be a genuine detective, Isaac. You yeah. just worked Maybe. it out Isaac, so well. I, 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 I know, I, I know. We all, we want to hear from our spy. We want to hear from our imp. But I want to hear from our virgin and co-founder <laughs> of the Billiard Boys, <laughs> who's been yeah. duped this whole game and <laughs> broken my heart. <laughs> Absolute rope a dope. <laughs> the first, I guess, from the first I guess thing. While while Isaac focused on facts, I focused on friendship. <laughs> sucks to be oh, you! Oh, that was the first mistake, it was, mate. it was the wrong choice. <laughs> yeah, I just want to say, Adam, you did an amazing job of support. Like, that plan was great. And I, I, you'll watch the video back. I was unbelievably smug in the first couple of nights where I'm like, we've won it. This is, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I know who you all are. Adam has made us both look innocent. I was like, this is just, this is going to be bad. Like, it's going to be an absolute massacre. And then slowly our plan started to unravel and you can just see me unraveling along with it just being like, no, I thought we had this, what is happening? That is all for this edition of Board Game Club. Thank you very much to all our players. Some victorious, some utterly heartbroken. And extra special thanks once again to our special guest storyteller, Ben from the Pandemonium Institute. Yeah, thank you, Ben. It's been an thanks, absolute ben. pleasure, guys. Thank you very much for having me again. And we'll see you next week on Board Game Club.